Okay, so this is a little bit of a shorter video just to give you an insight into some of the strength and conditioning that I do and what my general kind of strength training looks like. This has again been quite highly demanded by people as they want to see the kind of things I'm doing in the gym to supplement triathlon training, how you keep yourself strong, robust and injury free. and I pretty much do a daily core routine every single day of the week. When we're on training camp, we find that a lot more easy to do as we do have a lot more time. When we're at home, we try and do it at least four or five times a week. Um, we find the biggest benefits on the core stability training are across swim and run, just because those two sports are so much more dependent on your core but I wouldn't think that there's a negative impact on your cycling. If anything, there's gonna be a benefit as well. It's like a 10, 15 minute routine. We've kind of kept it the same over the last couple of years, really stripped it down to the key exercises that we find that work. So it's quite time efficient, really focusing on that core stability that is so important for mainly running. Like I do find I feel the biggest benefits on running just because I feel stable when I'm running and I feel strong. So core stability between four to seven times a week, depending on how much time we have available in the week. There's a lot of conflict in science around strength training and cardio training at the same time. So I do try and spread out these sessions so my body kind of does the stimulus from the strength training and then recovers before it would do a cardio based session. At the moment, my strength sessions are usually on a Monday and a Friday and all I do on those days is a swim around those sessions. So I can spread the workouts out, I can get the maximal training benefit from each session and I don't feel like I'm having to cram it in the day because there's nothing worse than having to rush through a strength session and maybe rushing some of the movements and ended up getting a niggle because you did the exercise slightly wrong then that's super counterintuitive to what the strength is all about when it's all about limiting injury, being robust um, and making sure that you are strong on that back end of the Ironman. So I really like to take my time through the program. At the moment, I'm being really strict on the amount of rest I get between my reps. So I, I will be timing it throughout the workout, doing the reps, having the set amount of rest, doing the reps, set amount of rest, um, which is something I've never really done before. I've kind of done my reps, plodded around a bit in the gym and then done the next set. So I'm being a lot more strict on that and I feel like I'm feeling the benefit of that because my muscles are getting the exact stimulus they were meant to get from the rep range and the weight that I'm lifting.
Yeah, so my gym program I have been doing over the last couple of months. I'm very lucky that with my swim background, I used to do Olympic lifting twice a week, every single week. So I have a good knowledge of exercises that work for me, the right techniques of how you should do these exercises. So over the years, we've developed our strength and conditioning program. At the moment, we are working with an expert in that field, so I don't want to give away too much because it's kind of his knowledge, it's his kind of intellectual property as, as it would be. So we do a programme that covers all the muscle groups needed for swim, bike and run. It has your basic exercises like squats, um, quite often I'll do deadlifts, it's not actually in my programme at the moment but I'll probably bring that back in. Usually I'm doing strength and conditioning a minimum of twice a week in the off season. That might go up to anywhere between three to five times a week. I really enjoy lifting. Like I am quite a big CrossFit fan. So I do enjoy watching CrossFit and then kind of looking at the creativity that they have in their strength training and trying to bring that into mine. Um, we also go through different phases throughout the year in the program that we're doing. So. The majority of our strength training is really in that endurance rep range, we're endurance athletes, but we do also spend some time throughout the year doing like a strength block where the rep ranges are less and the weights are heavier. But generally we're doing high rep range and slightly lower weight. My background is obviously in personal training as well, so I'm very happy in a gym environment lifting weights and thinking I'm getting massive when really I'm not. Yeah, so when we were doing our strength session um, at the back end of last week, the Olympic opening ceremony was actually on, which was super inspiring just to have that on. I think after the year that everyone had in 2020 where the Olympics got postponed and we wasn't sure if it was going to happen, to finally see it happening is just absolutely amazing. And you can feel the emotion of all the athletes who have been building towards that. And it's finally the moment that the Games is here. It definitely motivated me to want to be there in Paris and I kind of, it made me realise how much I maybe in 2012 just didn't want to watch the Olympics because I wanted to be there so badly that when that dream was almost crushed and I wasn't there, I didn't want to watch it, I didn't want to kind of put myself through it. Apart from when I was a kid and maybe I watched like the Athens 2004 Olympics and, and was so inspired as a kid, I feel like this is like the next Olympics on from that where I've actually loved watching it, kind of been so emotional for the athletes, inspired, moved by what they're doing and it's definitely motivating me in my training. So that was ama amazing to have on the telly whilst doing my strength session last week. Thanks for watching this video, I hope you got a bit of an insight into the benefits of strength and conditioning and as always if you have any questions put it in the comments below and we'll try and answer them for you as soon as we can and as always make sure to like and subscribe for loads more videos. So let me win a medal, you get your name up there and they get the, the gold medal.